ChristianEducation.com and I'm gonna take you through step number eight, which is taking the right size sections. We basically, you don't wanna, you wanna make sure that you don't take too thick a section, especially when you're cutting something like a graduation, really anything that you're cutting, don't take big sections. Because if you take big sections, what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull hair from too far away and you're gonna create a shape that you didn't want. Um, I'm guessing that you've cut a bob before and what happens is one side ends up longer than the other. That's because you weren't taking consistent sections. Whether it be the size of the section or the way that you're combing the section. So let's look at it this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this hair down. I've already cut my, uh, my line for my graduated bob here. So then we're gonna start in with our consistent sectioning. So now I'm gonna take a slight diagonal forward section and I'm gonna take about, let's say, a half an inch to a quarter of an inch section because what's gonna happen if I take too much hair? If I grab all of this hair at once, let's say I bring this up and maybe now I wanna cut it like this because I've seen people cut bobs like this. Now what I'm doing is I grab all this hair from, from these sides, pull it to the center, and now I'm pushing hair right away longer than I wanted. So now my guide gets longer than I wanted it to be. So you really gotta be careful on the size of the section that you're taking. So make sure each section that you take is the exact same size and nice and small so you can see through the section, not only to see your guide, but to, to make sure that you're consistent throughout the whole entire haircut and you're not pushing weight too far away. So. We're gonna go through. I'm gonna finish this whole part of the haircut. I'm not teaching you how to cut a bob today, but I want you to really focus on your sections. That's step number eight. Make sure you're not pulling hair too far away and check that you got that guide. The next step we're gonna work on is cross-checking. So stay tuned for step nine. Thank you guys for watching freesaloneducation.com. Follow us on Facebook, freesaloneducation.com. Thank you.